everyone, Jessica Whitaker here. I am a New York City based photographer and today's video we are out in Western Washington and I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes on a photo shoot with some plus size curvy models. They have two different body types. So one is a pear shape and one is an apple shape and I really wanted to do a video really celebrating all body types. I think it's very important and it has been a while since I did a plus size tutorial. It's been almost a year so I thought it was time to bring one back. I really think it's important to have a wide range of body types in your photography portfolio. So I have two wonderful models today, Justine and Lainey, which you'll meet in a moment, but they have two different body types. So Lainey is more of a pear shape and Justine is more of an apple shape. So I'm really excited to bring you along behind the scenes and show you a few different tips for photographing uh, plus size. Before we meet the models though, I do wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring this this video. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and to run your business. I have used Squarespace personally on my photography website as well as Build and Bloom's website, which if you guys don't know, Build and Bloom is my free photography Facebook community, which we recently expanded offline to in-person free workshops all around the nation. If you guys want more info on Build and Bloom, I'll have our Squarespace site linked down below. But one thing I love about Squarespace is it is truly all-in-one. All-in-one meaning you can have not only your website but also an online store so we sell merch on build and bloom and presets on my site we can have email campaigns and marketing now which is so awesome if you're looking to build a beautiful website that you will be proud to show clients but it really took you only a weekend to set up i highly recommend squarespace i've been building websites since the neopet days and i've used every platform under the sun and squarespace is user friendly intuitive and fast to load they have dozens of gorgeous designer templates that you can and easily customize to fit your branding and aesthetic. So what are you waiting for? Build your dream website today. You guys can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. Just give it a try. Even if you have a website on a different platform and you're thinking, I kind of want to refresh it in the new year. Maybe you need to build a completely new one. Just give it a go. And when you are ready to launch your beautiful new website, you guys can head to squarespace.com slash Jessica Whitaker to get 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Make sure to subscribe before we get started. And if you like, what you see here on YouTube, you're going to love my online photography workshop. I have a link just for you for 15% off. That's over $100 in savings linked down below for how to market to your dream ideal clients in your own backyard. Find me on Instagram at Jessica Whitaker for more photography videos, tips and tricks that I come across in my everyday life. I love doing photography Q and A's on Instagram live and I have been talking for so long. I know you guys have already typed. Video starts at four minutes and 15 seconds but thank you so much and I'm so excited to hop into this video. Let's go meet Justine and Lainey. I'm so excited that you both are here today. It's gonna be thank such you. a good video. Why don't you tell um, my channel about yourself? Who wants to go first? Hi, I'm Justine and so I started doing plus size modeling and fashion tips April of last year and I just decided I wanted to put myself out there because I feel like my particular body shape is not represented that much at all in the media. Whether you're plus size or not, I feel like they kind of gravitate towards the curvier girls so I thought it would be really cool to show the hundreds of thousands of other people that are shaped just like me that you can still look cute wear cute clothes and feel really good about yourself it's all about confidence and so I have grown so much this past year so I just hope that maybe you guys can get some more confidence too if you're feeling a little unconfident about yourself because we're all beautiful and I also have a YouTube channel you can follow me there I do a lot of fashion and makeup and you get to see my husband and my dog. So it's a lot of fun over there. Hi guys, I'm Lainey and I started modeling in my doorway. I decided to start posting more pictures and so I've been trying to capture an outfit a day and I really have a lot of fun. I love clothes and so I love putting outfits together and making something work maybe one way and this jumper make it work five different ways. I'm really expanding my closet with my new stuff and then my old stuff and really working it together and I just really have fun. Really um, encouraging myself to take opportunities and to try new stuff. So I would hope that you guys would try new stuff this year and 
Cheers to 2019 and checking out on Instagram. You guys are both so talented and you guys did your own makeup today? Yes. I was literally shook. I was like, did you guys go to a salon beforehand? Like, this is too much talent in one room. We're too powerful right? together, no. But it is going to be such a good tutorial. So be sure to go check out their stuff down below. We're going to jump right into the video. Okay, cute. I would have you actually scoot forward about a foot. I, I always kind of have the model kind of scoot away from the wall about a foot. This kind of makes the background a little bit more compressed and blurry. Beautiful. Okay, yes. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, love, 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 love. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Oh my goodness. One thing for whenever you have like a hat and then especially if it's darker and then your model has lighter hair, you just really want to make sure, can I like kind of yeah. adjust your hair a little bit? You just kind of want to make sure that there's no, like if this piece was up, you want to make sure it's all clean on the top of the brim. Sometimes I see that in some photos, it's just a little bit distracting. You're good, you're good, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna do a close up. Oh my gosh, <gasps> beautiful. Okay, I love, oh my gosh, she looks so cute. Oh my goodness, who's that girl? Anytime you can emphasize those curves, do it. We're laying in the, just the last pose that we did, having the hands on the waist, especially also with the dress that she's wearing, it really kind of does cut, like snatch that waist. Everybody is different and it's just about instilling that confidence, especially if you're working with a client for the first time, so maybe they're not super comfortable in front of the camera yet. It's still encouraging them and really emphasizing all the curves that they have. <laughs> Gorgeous, love. Oh my gosh, wait. <laughs> she is serving us love right now. Oh she is so gosh. good. I am like I beginner and she is like pro. Oh my gosh. I know. And then actually I'm gonna have you scoot this way, just pat it and then do that, kind of lean it back into that same pose. Yeah, perfect. Okay, perfect. So we just finished up photographing Justine at the blue wall. Because she has an apple shape, there isn't that same curvature with the waistline in the same way that maybe Lainey does with more of a pear shape. So therefore, I think that having the hand on the waist, um, and whether it's facing the camera or away, can still create the illusion of a natural waistline. And then another thing too is if we can elongate um, the height basically of your model, your subject, have the toes pointed out, have them crossed, but always have that toe kind of elevated from the ground a little bit. This adds like three feet to your- um, And I need that too because I'm short. <laughs> Literally, yes. I'm always, I'm a catfish on Instagram and the people meet me, they're like, whoa. <laughs> maybe not, maybe that's just me thinking that. But I think that this is also a really, really great way to elongate anyone's feature, therefore emphasizing their assets. So no matter if you're pear shape, if you have an apple shape, or if you have, or an hourglass shape, if you can elongate your legs and kind of um, create, it's not about maybe looking tall. I mean, we also, I'm short and I love being petite, but if I can elongate my figure, that's when I'm able to emphasize the figure that I have. Oh gosh, cute. Okay, what I'll actually have you do is let's, can you unbutton it and then cross it like manually over? Yeah, there we go. So then it, we don't have the, it's just the leopard here in. Yeah. Ooh. And then actually turn this way towards me. Okay, for the, we have a really bright white wall and this is reflecting right onto your face. Oh yes, so, I already know this. So good. Okay, so, and then um, my settings right now, my f-stop's at 1.4, so all of the background is really creamy. It's a little bit blown out because of the sun, so it's perfect. <gasps> Beautiful. Oh my gosh, love. I'm gonna tip your hat back even a little bit more so we have that kind of dramatic, might fall off, but it's- I'm sorry, but the sliding's amazing. Right, <laughs> literally like a Lumi case. Like so a good. Box. 
because we do have this beautiful reflective um, white wall bouncing the light onto Lainey, I do want to add a little bit more of an interesting element into the shot because we have this really close up shot, we have the hat, we have the coat, it's really pretty, but how do we even take it one step further? What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the plastic bag up to the lens, let some of the light reflect onto the plastic bag, and this will add a little bit of like gleam to the shot, a little bit of interest, you know? You could also, if you don't have a plastic bag, but maybe you have your iPhone um, or you have your phone, is you can turn your iPhone flashlight on and then use that pointed into your lens if you don't have anything. But usually you can even use your car keys, whatever you have that's kind of a little bit, it's transparent or can bounce light off of it. You could do that. Sunglasses, beautiful. And then have your head, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's say you're shooting in a grassy area, but the grass kind of has some spots on it. Like it's not all, uh, it's, there's a little bit of dirt. You can use a leaf or something or a plastic bag, whatever it is to cover that up. So it kind of is multi-purpose. Whenever you have like, um, it's a side shot where you have arms, always just kind of bring your arm away from your body. Yeah, so this just, because if whenever we press our arms to our body, it just makes them like, everything is relaxed and it makes it two times, yeah, yeah. It makes it two times than what your arm actually is. So having like that arm lifted away just a little bit will just make it look like what it is in real life. And also whenever you do have a limb, whether it's your knees or your elbows, always bend it. So instead of having your arm straight down to the side, this is just too stiff. This has nothing to do with body types too, but it's just a pose that is too stiff. So bend that elbow, bring it away from the torso, and then also bring it back so we still see that waistline. So it's not covering our waist, but rather it almost frames it. So that's another little tip. Okay, everyone, thank you for joining me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Thank you to Lainey and Justine for modeling for me. You guys go check out their stuff, link down below, their Instagram and YouTube channels. They're so amazing for modeling for this tutorial. If you like what you see here on YouTube, you're going to love my Instagram. It's another place where I can share free resources for your creative career um, on an everyday basis. So that's where I love to do Instagram Live, photo Q and A's, website, critiques. I share some free presets over on Instagram. So go check me out at Jessica Whitaker. Subscribe for more photography videos. And don't forget, I have that code for a 15% off of my workshop linked down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.